A gay rights group is trying to confront six megachurches across the U.S. Over the weekend, the group met with Bishop Harry Jackson of Hope Christian Center in Maryland. The Washington Times reports 30 conservative black Pentecostals dined with 30 of the activists. Members of Soul Force say they ta the talks are designed to force the conversation about faith, family, and homosexuality to a national level. Other churches that have been targeted include Joel Osteen's Lakewood Church and T.D. Jake's The Potter's House. Bishop Harry Jackson joins us now from Washington. And Bishop Jackson, you met with members of Soul Force over the weekend. What happened? Well, they had a, all, their old spiel. You know, they're out to get civil rights. They're out to change the nature of marriage and to be included in the church. Over the years, they've been aggressive. And this group has had a reputation of having sit-ins, being arrested, holding up placards. And there was a veiled threat that if we didn't talk, uh, they're going to act out. So we said, come in the night before. And we had a little bit of a debate. We shared the gospel with them. And it was an amazing time where I believe we learned a little bit about their strategy. There's nothing to be afraid of. Ultimately, we need to recognize as the church that these folks are sinners and that the gospel of Jesus Christ can overcome any kind of sin from drunkenness to homosexuality. Sometimes we try to make it so deep that mm. we're fighting some kind of foe uh, that we can't defeat. But Wendy, mm. it's important to note that with the California ruling, the next decade we've been we're going to deal with things like hate crimes, Employment Non-Discrimination Act, and the gay community has targeted the church as its ultimate arch enemy. Well, let me ask you this. I understand that while the group did not back down, at least one life was changed during the service. Tell us about that. Well, what happened was we decided that we'd meet the night before, and during the regular service, I'd preach a message entitled, Jesus, the Ultimate Liberator. Hmm. And uh, we preached that. Uh, from the scriptures of St. John, that if you continue in his word, uh, then the truth shall set you free. Uh, openly gay man who has, is HIV positive, who was not a part of that group, got saved that day, but it was a sign to us as he came forward that God's word is greater than any of these kinds of attacks. Wow. Well, your church is one of uh, six churches targeted by the group. What do they hope to accomplish, and what are they doing at churches that won't meet with them? Well, churches that won't meet with them, like Lakewood, wouldn't meet with them early on, and they had a little placard, and they stood someplace in the city, and they had a press conference calling them all kind of names. It's a subtle form of intimidation. And, Wendy, you may be aware that uh, I've had death threats uh, by openly gay groups. And uh, it was interesting in our debates as we talked uh, with them, and I mentioned this fact, they kind of shrugged that off. And mm -hmm. one of the guys came up and said, well, our people are under the threat of death every day of their lives. In a sense, you're just feeling what we feel all the time. And so... <laughs> I'm not getting the logic there. <laughs> no, I don't get it either. But, but the thing is uh, that they are irrational. Uh, I believe that many of them want to be Christians, but that is a counterfeit gospel that's being preached. And their ultimate goal is a fourfold fight. They're fighting on a PR front. They're fighting on a legal front. They're fighting also on a generational front that our children will be more open to the gay lifestyle. And then finally, they're fighting on a doctrinal front. Mm. They want to be included in the warp and woof of our society. And I think we need to, according to Psalm 2, believe that uh, God will give us the heathen as our inheritance. And if they want to call themselves a gay nation, then I believe that Jesus can win every nation by winning those aggressive people to Christ as he did in our Sunday morning service. Well said. Bishop Harry Jackson, thanks as always for being with us today. Thank you.